Hi, good morning. Well, this is super cool, and there's already several couples taking advantage of this. The line is forming out the door this morning, and the ceremonies don't even start until 10. So for a little more on that, we're here with, we're here with Marie Tyler Wiley. Can you just talk a little bit about how long you've been doing this and why you first decided to officiate free weddings here on Valentine's Day? Okay. <laughs> so it all started way back when I was a little kid, and I arrived at doing the weddings because I'm Irish Catholic, and I thought, oh, Valentine's Day, yes, I can make money, this is great. And then the very first Valentine's Day, when I did this 20 years ago, or 23 years ago, I realized, oh my goodness, I can't take their, oh my God, I can't take their money. Okay, what am I gonna do now? And then I just thought about it, I thought, oh, I know what I'll do, I'll do it for free. So every year on Valentine's Day, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., I perform free weddings for anybody who'd like to come. They can go right over to the Stonington Town Hall and get their wedding license, call ahead to see if they have any COVID restrictions. <laughs> and then they can zip over here. I've got five different ceremonies that people can choose from. So it's not only doing weddings, but it's also vow renewals and stuff that I get a lot of people for. So for each, whether you're getting married or a vow renewal, I have five different ceremonies that they get to choose from. Wow. So they just choose, they let my intake person, who this year is Mary Pickering, uh, give her, just let her know what number they want me to perform. And then we have April Tischler, our professional photographer, taking pictures before and after. So the whole wedding day process here done in just a few minutes. And yeah. you said each year is different because you never know how many people to expect. No, that's exactly it. I never know. And everybody's <laughs> always like, before I come, how many are you getting? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of phone calls because people call and they're like, hey, are you still doing the free weddings? I'm like, yep, every year. So that's it. You just never know. And it comes, it's like the tide. It comes and goes. It'll be busy, busy. Then it'll lighten up. Then it'll get busy again so right. what's your favorite part about doing it do you enjoy to be a part of people's <laughs> wedding experiences I literally I give people the wedding I always wanted because my husband and I we eloped to New York City and I thought it was going to be a romantic not it's like a conveyor belt of people just in line getting ready to get married so my mission when I meet with my couples here is to quickly create like a circle of love and really the intentions there, and I, and I know they feel it because I feel it in my heart. You know, just marrying them, giving them the best ceremony that I can. Oh, that's really sweet. And here in this beautiful church too as well, as I said, there's already a line out the door of people. What is the most amount of weddings you've done on a day in Valentine's Day? 35, and that includes... 35. Yep, yeah, 35, and that includes vow renewals also. And I have to mention Joyce Resnikoff, who owns the village, has given me this building for free every single year so for 20 years i get to use this building and she does it lovingly and i just adore her and thank her for that well yeah there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes in order to make this happen i saw everyone setting up earlier this morning with the decorations yeah. and there's some champagne glasses as well the free photography too so people can remember this moment is there anything you want people to know if they're thinking about maybe coming out here to get married today if you're thinking about doing it hop to it just call up the Stonington Town Hall, let them know what your plans are, and they'll tell you exactly what to do. Grab your license and then come on over here. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Marie. I know you're busy, so we'll let you get back to thank it. But you thank so you much. so much. It was so nice meeting happy you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, happy Valentine's Day. And the ceremonies are going from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Again, we're here at the Meeting House in Old Mystic Village. So we have some more details on our website as well, fox61.com. But for now, Tim and Erica will send things back over to you.